everybody and welcome to night number 23 of History Bedtime Stories. In bed, in our pajamas, tonight we are talking about an automotive heritage road. An all-American scenic byway, Michigan Department of Transportation Michigan Byway Award, a National Scenic Highway, and an Automotive Heritage Trail. We're talking about Woodward Avenue or M1. It is the main trunk line that de uh, determines if you're an east sider or a west sider. And for those of you who live in Detroit or the suburbs of Detroit, you know how important it is to be an east sider or a west sider. It doesn't matter if you're one house over. It defines where you go to school, who you grow up with, and your affinity for certain neighborhoods. Woodward Avenue runs roughly along the same route that the Native American Saginaw Trail used to run. The Saginaw Trail was in place long before Antoinette de la Mosse de Cadillac ever found the city of Detroit in 1701 for the French. This trail runs uh, from the Detroit River, from the waterfront, all the way up to the northern tip of Michigan through Pontiac and up towards Mackinac. The trail is um, sort of in a northwesterly direction and following the Great Fire of 1805, Augustus B. Woodward starts laying out the new plan for the city and he designs it sort of after the ideas of Washington DC and after Paris, the spoke and wheel pattern. And although a lot of it never gets built, the five main spokes Woodward Avenue, Michigan Avenue, Grand River, Graf Gratiot, and Jefferson do get completed. For Woodward Avenue, it's really Main Street, Detroit. It's the biggest street. It is straight uh, up north. It divides east and west, and it becomes the first Main Street in Detroit to have trolley service, the first Main Street in Detroit to have bus service. It is the first paved road in America, completed in 1909 between six mile and seven mile with one mile of concrete paving. In 1925, the intersection of Woodward and State Street in Detroit is busier than Times Square in New York. And the very first car to ever drive on a Michigan road was Charles Brady King's Woodward Avenue Drive of March 3rd, 1896. So to say that Woodward Avenue is important in our history is an understatement. But the wilder story is Augustus B. Woodward himself. He is a judge appointed to the Michigan Territory by his buddy, by his pal, by his insider top guy, President Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson sends him to the territory, also making him a colonel in the territorial, territorial militia. And he, well here, becomes president of one of Detroit's first banks. Woodward, uh, following the fire of 1805, is given permission by the federal government to sell off land in order to use the profits from that municipally held land to rebuild the city of Detroit. And when he starts laying out all the streets, he decides to name that big old northwesterly road that will divide everything after himself, Woodward Avenue. And the citizens are sort of going, uh-uh, not cool, not fair. You're not allowed to do that, Woodward. How dare you in town just a couple of years, fresh from the East Coast, outsider, come into Detroit and name the biggest street in town after yourself. Well, Woodward says, oh, no, 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 no. That's not so. The street isn't named after me. It's named after the direction in which it heads. It's towards the woods. Woodward. If you believe that, I've got a bridge to sell you. But Woodward gets away with it. And Woodward Avenue, now M1, is known to this day as the main drag in Detroit. It's uh, today completely paved, and it does hold some pretty cool distinctions. It was the first four-way traffic light ever installed on Woodward Avenue. It was one of the first toll roads in the city of Detroit. In the 18-teens, um, a group of sort of entrepreneurial citizens get together and they take logs, big, 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 thick logs, um, eight feet wide by three inches thick. These planks are caught, cut and two planks, so 16 feet across, are laid down perpendicular to each other for the full length of three and a half miles of Woodward Avenue. This makes it a less jarring ride, a much smoother uh, road to travel, and it stops eroding trenches into the dirt and packed mud from trucks uh, and carriages constantly traveling that same path. With the completion of the log and wood road, a toll started being charged. One cent for vehicles, two cents for herds of cattle. 
to um, roam that that passage of Woodward. The fees and tolls actually stayed in place all the way till 1908. Today, Woodward sees everything from the Thanksgiving Day Parade, which started on Woodward Avenue in 1926. In 1909, city officials, as well as state appointed officials, state elected officials, engineers, and workmen are able to complete the first paved mile of concrete road in the world. It's Woodward Avenue between Six Mile and Seven Mile. The completion of this project costs $14,000. About 60% of that is paid by the city of Detroit and 40% by the state of Michigan. That's the equivalent of spending about $300,000 to do a mile of road today. Woodward Avenue today is a main artery for Southeast Michigan and a huge part of our history. We hope you're enjoying History Bedtime Stories. Give us a like and a follow, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 8.